flip it and reverse it. You want to upgrade your backyard bike track with a tabletop. Stay tuned to see how I build this epic jump. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should add to the track. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on new content. This tabletop has me pretty excited. A friend of mine gave me these plastic pallets and I knew exactly what I was going to do with them. I honestly wish I would have had them for the other jump build because I feel that the run up on it is better than this jump and I could have had a little more air on it. This will work eventually as you will see. <laughs> I needed a bunch more wood and I saw a fellow rider had mentioned he needed the wood from the trees he dropped out of his yard. I took the opportunity to snag these big pieces. That wood does not want me to let it go. Anyway, stacking these on either side of the jump saved me a ton of dirt again and without them I would have not been able to build this. I did have to make a few custom cuts with my Ryobi 18 volt chainsaw. It still does a good job. After the wood was laid, it was time to fill in the gaps with dirt and start forming the shape of the jump. You will notice that I put grassy sod sections on the jump. I do this because the grass will grow into the jump and make it more solid and help prevent it from eroding. And this means less dirt loss and less reshaping. When the grass does get too long, I just hit it with the weed whacker. Now it's time for the moment of truth, but before I jumped this, I rolled it a ton of times again with a fat bike to pack the dirt in real good. You'll also notice that I finally have learned how to ride backwards. The question looming in my head during these runs, will I get enough speed to clear this jump? Nope. So I'm going to try to remove the rollers leading up to the jump so I can get some good pedal strokes in without hitting the pedals on the rollers. Let's see how this goes. Or maybe I should just get an e-bike.
Now that we've got it all smoothed out, let's give it a few tries. Let's rewind that and take a closer look. Nope! Not going to work. The next step is to transition into this line towards the tabletop from the line that I take to get speed for the other jump. That is what I've done here and I'm hoping this works perfect. I also made a ride around for this jump because some peeps may not want to ride it or jump it. That is epic! This jump is epic and I can even get enough speed on my P-slope to clear it. All I have to do is a little maintenance on the rest of the trail and it should be good to go for a bike party. Let me know in the comments below if you like this backyard tabletop. I still get excited to get on my bike and jump. Grab some cool bike stickers, I put them on my car window. Keep an eye out for the next video as I tighten up the track and ride different bikes on it. Remember this is race season so race videos will be posted. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out. If you like this video, check out the previous pump track build videos right here. Thanks for watching.